Hi everyone, and welcome to an early hands-on preview of the MSI Z370 Godlike Gaming Coffee Lake motherboard. Okay, so I know it's a tease, but we do have to start with the box itself. And trust me, when I say what's on the inside of the box is well worth a look. Now you can see all the bits and bobs here. You can pause, you can do all that sort of stuff. I mean, uh, bits to pick out. It's got killer extend on the back. I'm not sure why they've got three um, uh, LAN ports though. That seems a teensy weensy bit excessive to me. We do have gold jacks. We've also got a 6.3mm hi-fi audio jack. Keep that in mind with stuff when I start talking to you later on. Um, when we come down the bottom though, you can see that we've actually got one port and two LAN ports. Oh, that's interesting. I hadn't noticed that before. Uh, we do have an M.2 extender. Again, I'll show you that when we get inside. It's all at Mystic lighted as well. So there is uh, an awful lot going on, but there's even more going on when we uh, come into the accessories box. Now, I know this may seem a bit tedious, but bear with me because it genuinely is worth a look. I've already done a Facebook live stream uh, on this. So I, I do want to run through it all with you again because there are some really cool bits. This is your M.2 extender. Uh, it's a 16 time slot, but it's only wired for eight times. So that's kind of cool. Anyway, this one is very, very cool. So this is a USB hub. So uh, you plug a cable that comes with it. It's in here somewhere. You plug the cable that comes in with it into a USB 2 internal connector. And then it means that you can have four that share the bandwidth of that one. Now sharing the bandwidth may sound a bit bad and oh, it's not gonna be very fast but you would use these for like your AIO and an RGB kit and maybe your power supply if you've got you know, a connected power supply. Uh, so you wouldn't really need all the bandwidth anyway. Um, and it's, it's something that you can buy from the likes of NZXT for example, but the fact that it comes uh, in the box, I think it's cool. And you do get a, um, a Velcro kit with it as well so that you can mount it. Lovely, lovely. There are uh, three thermal probes and there are multiple port points around the board that you'll be able to plug those in and I will show you those in a bit. These are your Wi-Fi antennas. Um, they do look, we did joke about the fact that it looks like they're some sort of sword for an anime character or something or you get what I mean. So it's not just your plain boring round ones. Then uh, there is a Fantex RGB strip, which you can control uh, from the board as well. You get um, a RGB extender, and um, it's a fan as well, a fan splitter, or it fans out. So it goes from one on the board out to two connections. Then uh, you do also get some SATA cables. These are braided. Now these are the kind of rough nylon braid if you know what I mean and you get four of them and you can see that they are black and silver but then you do also get two soft kind of paracord braided SATA cables that are black and red. I did say to you about the 6.3 mil slot around the back of the board as well which is not going to work with uh, the large majority of gaming microphones but they do give you a 6.3 to 3.5 mil gold plated adapter cable which again, it just goes to show you that they are actually putting some thought in. Now the thing I've left till last is because I have to take the ends off, but there's your um, back plate, your AO shield, whatever you want to call it. And there are three different covers that you can literally just lay on and it's not magnetic. At least I don't think so. I think it's that weird kind of stuff that just kind of sticks. It might be a magnet. I haven't really tried it, but anyway, you get three different designs that you can literally just lay on over the top so you can decide what you want the back to look like. I think that is a masterstroke. It's a shame that they didn't have it like red, black, I don't know, blue or something. Do you know what I mean? But the fact that you get any choice at all, they do definitely need um, uh, props for. And you can obviously, if you want, just have it plain silver. And it's really nice 
that there's no like catchy bits around the back on the IO shield as well. And you've got the nice spongy rear material and it's, it's actually just, it's really nice. You can see that this would have been the bag that all of the cables and stuff come in. Um, I've just taken it out. If you were going to a LAN or something, it could be nice to put your mouse in. Um, you do get a uh, the normal driver CD and stuff, SLI bridge, all that sort of mumbo jumbo, but then really it comes down to their main event. Okay, so with the board, CMOS clear at the top, you've got your uh, wireless connections up here as well, PS2, a selection um, of connections down here with your USBs. Now we do know that the third um, uh, wire, oh, uh, sorry, Ethernet is a WAN port. Now the LAN port would be network. WAN port says to me it's about, um, you could possibly use this as like a hub or a router and then have other people connect into your PC. Now I, I do need to um, play around with this in the main review so it'll be something I will cover. So this is just speculation at the moment and I do need to cover it, you know, find out because obviously will it still work when your PC shut down and all of that sort of stuff. Maybe the residual power from the power supply will still be enough to keep this and the wireless going. I don't know. I'm going to have to ask MSI. I'm going to have to have a play around with it in the main review. Um, but I will let you know. So if you're interested in that, then uh, come back. And But the other thing that we talked about was the 6.3 mil connector. So you've got that here and you can obviously use the adapter, but you've got the other gold plated connectors there anyway. Now on the actual board itself, there is actually quite a lot to do and go around so i'm just going to start at the top and don't forget you can pause at any time but you can see that's where the connections for the wireless go they're literally just um to go on the back and there are little cables just in there that you can go through and you can see that they go through in fact we've left a bit of plastic on oh yes it is good anyway eight plus four at the top Moving along, you can see the OCFS1 and OCRT2. So I'm not sure what um, those switches are going to be about for you. Again, that's all stuff that I need to do when I actually do my testing, or maybe I already have, and I'm not allowed to talk to you about it because it's NDA. It's always infinitely complicated. Um, fan header, fan header, fan header, fan header. There's quite a few of them on this board, thankfully. Another one there, another one there. What we can also see here is that's one of the um, thermal probe uh, ports as well. Coming down, USB 3 horizontal, USB 3.1, 6 SATA, 1 U.2. Then I'm looking for other uh, sensors. You've got a thermal sensor there and a thermal sensor there. Fan header, fan header. You've got some um, uh, dip switches here. Again, this is something I'm gonna to have to look at in the main review, but I've got a funny feeling, because there's only three of them, I think that's something to do with the uh, M.2, so you can like completely disable M.2s. You can see that we've got two more fan headers here, and you can see that we've got a six pin power, but really that's gonna be if you're using lots of graphics cards, and you know, in all honesty, with something like this, probably not unless there maybe possibly be an m dot um, not an m dot two um, a plx chip hidden underneath but again we can't really talk about that because we need to talk about chipsets and that sort of stuff in the main review so i'm skirting around what i'm allowed to do um quite carefully we do have another switch there and it's i'm trying to see this in the camera it's not say to oh, it's the uh, flashback bios flashback button um, so, one thing we can tell is there are an awful, awful lot of power phases around there, and this does play part of the whole um, uh, military kind of bomb-proofness. And you can see that they're the TI chokes and stuff. So it's back to kind of the MSI high-end overclocking sort of board, but without the yellow on it. Something that I did find kind of funny was that... Anyway, so um, the only other thing really that we could do, okay, so with the aid of a cable that's normally used for shows to light the boards up, you, I can give you a uh, look at uh, all of the placements of the RGBs on the board. Now the flicker is just the fact um, it's the best kind of balance between light and what you can see. To the naked eye, they are just fading between 
you're not getting that awkward flicker. I'm not even sure whether it will still be there once you get the rendered video, but you get the idea. So you can see that we've got lots of um, uh, placements around the board for the actual LEDs, but something, or RGBs, but something I thought was quite cool is you do get a light by the side of all of your fan headers as well. So all those fan headers I was pointing out to you earlier on, there is a little light by the side of all of those. Um, now there is quite a lot on the board. I'm not going to be able to tell until we uh, do the full testing what can be disabled and what kind of uh, you know sort of options and stuff that we get. But obviously, you know, we have to hold some stuff back. And uh, if it was running, I wouldn't actually be allowed to show you it either. So it's just trying to you know get the best of the both worlds to give you an all early look and keep Intel happy and not break any NDAs because up until a few days ago we weren't even allowed to um, show you the boards at all. So hopefully I'm not going to get myself in trouble. You have got a chance to have a look around the godlike and the godlike accessories. Um, I'm not too sure whether the, the amount of lights on this are a good thing or not so I'm hoping that we are going to get full control and can turn more than like a whole section off because if we can turn them off individually and set them individually that could be quite cool but honey time is going to tell so you're going to have to come back on the fifth after the fifth i don't know probably on the fifth